Hi everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about the next principle of animation, which is timing and spacing. So if uh, if we talk about timing and spacing, so these are two words, but they are a part of a single principle. So if I talk about timing, timing is the number of frames occupied in a particular action. So there are 24 frames in one second of animation. So if you want to animate one second, then you need to animate 24 frames. So that is how it is in animation. So suppose if I am hitting a pose, suppose my first pose at the first frame is here and at the 24th frame is here. So now when I play the animation, it will be like here. In one second, I am moving my head from here to here. So now the character, now the audience will think that the character is moving his head from here to here. So there is nothing intent behind the moving of the character's head. So now suppose if I reduce the timing from 24 frames, I am reducing it to 12 frames. So now I am bringing that second position at 12th frame. So now the animation will be two times faster than the earlier one. So now I will move my head like this, this. So now the audience will think that there is something important happening there. That is why the character is moving his head so fast. So that is why timing is very much important to convey the right message to the audience. So this is how the timing principle is used. If I talk about spacing, spacing is the gap between the two poses. So suppose in one second I am moving my head from here to here. That is what I have shown you. First frame and 24th frame. Suppose if I consider first frame and 12th frame. Now I am moving my character head like this fast. But now what if it is one second only. It is uh, suppose it is 12th frame only. But now what I am doing is I am increasing the spacing at the end. I am mean keeping the spacing tight at the first. So now at the beginning I will move my head slow and then I will go fast. So, so this is way, this is how you can change the spacing. So you might have seen that at the beginning I am looking very slow and then I am gradually doing it, speeding it up. So when I am speeding it up, that means that I am increasing the spacing between the poses. And when I am moving at a slow speed, that means that the spacing is very much less between those poses. So that is why the animation is looking slower. So both this timing and spacing together play an important role. You need timing as well as spacing. You maintain both, you have to maintain both of them to get the right impact on the audience. So the mood, the characters, nature, everything will be defined by the accurate timing and spacing. So th that is why it is very much important principle of animation. So I hope you have got an insight about this principle. I will definitely create a video practically showing you how this timing and spacing works in the software. So if you have got any idea through this video, then you can like the video and share it among your friends. I will see you in the next video with the next principle of animation. Till then take care and God bless. Thank you.